seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. What's going on, guys? It's me, Rocky X, coming at you today on some more Kingdom Come Deliverance. And if you watched the last episode, we are running out of town because uh, some dude with a crazy mustache just came in and like burned it all to the ground. And now there's people chasing me. I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to do. I see an A over here, so I guess I'm going to run this way. There was a dude behind me. Oh, God. Oh, God. I'm already almost stamina, out of stamina. I think I got a sword. An unsheathed weapon will provoke fear among villagers and in towns. Uh, they're likely to call a guard on you. You serious? I mean, there's a town burden up there. God forbid. Uh, what's going on in here? I heard somebody say, I'll kill you. Oh, this dude wants some? Okay, oh, <laughs> horse riding. Uh, the normal movement keys. Caps left. That's a weird key. Caps left. Uh, walk gives your horse a chance to recover. Uh, canter ideally combines a faster pace with the horse's endurance. Uh, double tap left shift, I guess. Gallop, the fastest gate, but will deplete your horse's stamina. Um, your horse is smarter than some people and will stick to the path you're on if you give him his head. Just begin cantering and don't steer him. Okay. Oh, well, that's easy enough. Okay. I guess it stays on the path if you don't change its direction. Um, and then it's got the same kind of normal indicators. Hey, what's up, bro? What's going on here? Y'all messing with this fine lady? You can call your horse at any time by whistling X. Okay. I feel like perhaps I should... Hey! Yo, what's going on? Mm. Okay. Yo, what's going... Oh! God! Oh, God! Uh, oh, God! Oh, I got in it! I missed some stuff! Oh, that was poor... That was poor decision making. Maybe, um... I forgot how I, you know, last episode chopped at that stick and I couldn't even cut the stick in half. Let's just pretend that never happened. Oh, I'm so sorry, ma'am. There's nothing I can do to help you. I've got to just kind of watch this go down. Uh, you can call your horse by whistling guys, but your whistle will also be heard by people within earshot. Um, okay. Uh, oh, hey, leave that lady alone. Oh, hop on the horse. Hop on the horse. Hop on the freaking horse and get the crap! Oh, jeez. I helped her get away from the rapist and I got a horse. That's what's up. Oh, God. I thought for- Uh-oh. It kind of looked like a baddie. Yeah, so totally if I don't move uh, the head positioning or whatever, then he just stays on the trail. That's pretty awesome. Digging that. Where am I headed? Oh, right up here to the cutscene. I think we're gonna be getting out of a lot of the. Oh God, this looks terrible. I'm sorry. I suck with the sword. I'll come back later. Dig an arrow to the leg. For the love of God. So, am I gonna have to outrun these dudes? Bleeding, the wound must be bandaged, which Henry hasn't learned to do yet. You have to quickly get to someone who can help you. Oh, God. Okay. I'm wanting to sprint. Ah, 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 I'm in a creek. I can't ride. Don't know how to ride a horse. Oh, hey, y'all. What's going on? Just gonna. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, quit hitting me with. I just wanna. Okay, the whole double tapping shift thing is definitely not working. Just gonna ride down the river because apparently my horse can't jump out of it. <laughs> Maybe they don't want to get their feet wet today. Okay, here we go. Left. Halmo gets to the left. I the guess. Street. I guess it's telling me right there uh, up top that I'm like in combat. Is my horse super tired? I feel like it is. I feel like I'm gonna die. Do I have a bandage or something? Maybe I have one. I don't even know. Hey, I got an arrow. <laughs> it just happens to be sticking in my leg. Oh, I can use my bandage. Maybe. Well, I have one anyways. Uh, how exactly do I use this? That is the question. I guess I have one. I just don't know how to use it. Well, here goes. Oh, no. Why? How did you get there? Uh, let's go to M and just make sure that M. 
Hopefully that stops the game. Ride to Talenberg. Uh, and this is Rovna. Oh, God. I got a long way to go for being as hurt as I am. Can we please just agree that I need to be running right now? Thank you. Uh. There was a gravestone on the side of the road. That doesn't make me feel real confident. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Go. They'll kill you all. Just stay in the middle of the road and distract them. Thank you. Uh. Run for it. Stay here. Nobody's coming behind me. Oh. Oh God. I'm still getting hit by things. No, I'm gonna run over. Sorry. I wish I could like view behind me. Just keep running, please, for the love of God and all that is holy. I'm not sure the game stops when I check my inventory or not. Can we please sprint? Please? Why aren't you staying on the road like you're supposed to now? Ah, oh, there's still some there under me! Oh, I hope there's more people in there. Maybe these people. Stop shooting arrows at me! Oh my god. I just barely made it. It seemed like my horse like stopped sprinting every once in a while, but it wasn't. Oh! Oh god. But it wasn't out of stamina. Can one of y'all like help me? Cool. No worries. Could you, could you maybe? There we go. There we go. Oh, please don't hit me. I like that. I like that. Why are there subtitles if it's still in a different language? Ooh. That was close. That was intense. Not until I get through, you're not. Thank you. I thought I just pulled that out of my leg. Maybe not. Someone give him a drink and bring hot wine and bandages. Bandages, please. Tell me, boy, who are you and where are you from? What in hell's name happened? I've come from Scalitz. They burned it to the ground, slaughtered everyone. Who? Who burned it to the ground? A huge army. They attacked without warning, and, and they weren't Czechs or Germans either. Who then? I don't know. I've never seen armor like it or heard their language. Maybe Tartars? Think it was tartar sauce. Tartars, you say? Yeah. yeah, tartar sauce. Well, we'll deal with that later. First, let's have a look at that leg of yours. Who is that? I don't know. Grit your teeth, boy. I'm gonna pull that hair out. Oh, sweet. Seems like a good idea. Go and yank it. Ah! <laughs> like new. Just like new. Easy. All done. You were lucky, lad. The arrow missed the bone. It only needed bandaging, and I've done that often enough before. War is a good teacher. Can you stand? There you go. Good as new. <laughs> Thank you. If you idlers nothing better to do, get back to work. You'll have to speak to Lord Divish. Can you manage? Oh yeah, I can talk just fine. I just can't walk. Let's conversate with Lord Divish, Sowry. Divish, I presume. Sir, 
This is a survivor from- I heard, Robart. Tell me, boy, what exactly happened? Did you see the insides of the attackers? And were there any more survivors? So, um, I don't know what army it was, but it was huge. There were dozens of banners flying on the hill above Scalitz. The ones who did the slaughtering spoke a, a strange language. They burned Scalitz to the ground. But a lot of people took refuge in the castle. I wasn't quick enough. And as I fled, they shouted from the battlements that I should come and warn you. The soldiers the boy didn't recognize. They could be those Cumans of Sigismund's. It said they came to Hungary from the east, and now they're the core of his army. Sacking Gutenberg must have given him a taste for stolen silver. Skalos is a small castle, sir. If Sigismund attacks, they can't hold. Indeed, Sir Robard. And Indeed. our small garrison would be no help, even if we could risk sending them. You think we're next in line? Maybe. What's your name, boy? I'm Henry, son of the Scalitz blacksmith. I know him. Did he make it inside the castle? It's in God's hands now. No one else can help us. Anyway, thank you for risking your neck to warn us. Robard, take care of Henry. Make sure he gets something to eat and some rest. Yes, sir. And get all the people inside the gates. We have to prepare for the worst. Make all the necessary arrangements. As you command, sir. Completed ride to Talenburg. You discovered a fast travel point. Oh, okay. That's what that symbol means. I forgot. And, oh. Talk to Sir Robard. I discovered my bed. I discovered the baker. Ooh, I'm healing. Look at that. The bandage is doing some good. Does that mean I'm super freaking hungry and sleepy? Okay, so food, food. You guys got any pot around? I mean, just a, like a pot to eat out of? Oh god, I don't want to lockpick that. Nothing terribly urgent. I know I've got some cheese, just but a reminder from your cousin see. that he'll come in a month. Oh, anything to eat? See. Anything? Well, remind me the. Oh, I'm in a private area. Sorry, guys. Later. We'll have time to um. Well, which one's my bedroom? Oh, it's chose that way. Uh, yeah, I don't want to lock pick that. Okay, I know I've got some stuff in here. First and foremost, do I have any boots on? I have old boots. Why wasn't I wearing my old boots? Oh, I do have something on. Boots. <laughs> Can you compare the stats of these? Or is that the same one? Oh, that's the same ones. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Got the red scarf. Yeah, 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 yeah. Armor. Got all that stuff on. Maybe that's what the... Oh, that means it's dirty, I bet. Okay, okay. Food! Let us eat. Let's eat some cheese. Where's my hunger? Nourishment. 25, good God. Really don't want to eat... Uh, let's eat some bread. 30? Oh, God, this is going to take a lot of eating. 35? I'm, I'm going to assume that it's going to feed me. What the hell was that? Uh, I bet this is why it showed me the baker right. Is baker in here? Hello? <laughs> baker, perhaps? Doesn't look like... Doesn't look like the baker's room at all. <laughs> I'm, gonna get, I'm gonna get kicked out of town before... Okay. Hard lock picking. You can sit on the bed. You can sit there. Like a little window seat. Sorry guys, I was lost. Didn't mean to go in there. Just trying to find the baker. <laughs> Never mind me. What's up, bro? I'll talk to you in a minute. This is probably the baker. Are you the baker? Are you the baker? Good lord. Is this lady the baker? You're the 
I bet, I bet you're the baker. Let's talk to the cook. Where can I buy something? Food, who should I ask? Who do you think, young man? Me, of course. And if you want something extra, I could help you out with that too. I don't know what that means. I don't know what that means, but okay. I'd like to buy something from you. Of course, lad. For the price of free, perhaps. Let's see. So I guess, um, what does all this mean? Number. Oh, it's just got 30 of it. I wish it told me. Oh, I bet it does. Let's see. Yeah, nourishment nine, six, 13. I like that. Two and a half, seven, 17. Just buy some bread then. Um, I have point four. <laughs> Oh, oh, that's gonna be a little awkward. I have nothing. I have nothing to trade you, ma'am. I'm just gonna have to steal food. What's in that pot? I wonder if she'll get mad. <laughs> why? Why would I ever buy anything from you if I can eat out of your pot for free? Okay, later. This chick's doing yoga. Sweet. Am I locked in here with you, or can I kindly leave, ma'am? Oh God. Uh, wonder if they'll be mad if I like just start picking this stuff up. Hey, what's that over there? Did you see that outside of the door? Apples. I feel like they won't like it. Look where you're going. Uh, I would look where I'm going. I'm just trying to leave this daggum room. That's it. You can make me kick the door down, aren't you? Ugh. Kick the door down, ma'am. Um. Something's wrong with your door. I feel like the only way I'm going to get out of here, am I not supposed to be in here? I'm legit stuck in this uh, room. Watch where you're going. I don't know if it's like a, I don't know if it's a glitch. If you're up to no good, you better think twice. No, I'm not up to no good. I'm trying to get out of your daggum kitchen. Help, help. I'm stuck in the kitchen. With these two crazy ladies. I don't know what they want to do to me. This lady said she would cook for me, but she'd also do other things for me, and I don't know what that means. And it's super confusing. What is it giving me? The option to sit. I just want out of the... Oh. Oh, God. Don't go in there, dude. Ha. Ah. You're stuck. You're stuck with them now. Um. Gloves. I can't take them. I will pickpocket you. Snake a snake? No, I can't do that. Is there anything in here? You're in a private area. Mmm. Dude, is this stuff I can Oh, I could totally rob. I don't know if they're gonna like it though. Nah, nah, nah. It's not worth it for a radish. Dude, what if he's like legit stuck in there? <laughs> Nothing to see here. Gonna take this cheese. And this bread? Poor boy's gotta do what a poor boy's gotta do. Oh, hey! I know I heard footsteps. Uh, what's in this? I'm kinda nervous. None of this is, like, worth stealing. Is it? Is that fairly expensive, though? Four and a half. Took it all. If you steal, make sure no one sees you, but even selling the loot isn't easy. You might get away with stealing a, 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 selling a stolen apple, but word will get around if you steal something valuable and traders will recognize it. Okay, cool. No one took your fish in there, that's for sure. <gasps> Nothing to see here, sir. Gonna leave. Go ahead and talk to this dude. Can I wash up in this? Or maybe there's this thing. And then we'll see if that dirty looking icon goes away. Uh, water. Need a little water. Here we go. Now let's see. Yeah, so that dirty splat icon, icon went away. All right, man. 
Time for another cutscene. You've done well, lad. I'm sorry for your loss. You must be all done in. Why don't you go to the kitchen and have a good meal? Sorrow is easier to bear. On a <laughs> I did time. already. To let you know. I heard about your father. They say he was a swordsmith who moved to the countryside to make horseshoes. Go with Sir Robert to I the can't understand kitchen. Why waste kitchen. Talents, but I'm sure he had his reasons. Oh, that's weird. I've he never seen this place. It's a Definitely never place. taken fish out of there. So that's weird. So we're just going to stand here? <laughs> this is what we're doing now? Like a staring contest? Or did you want me to do something? Did I break the game possibly? I'm going to have a seat. You and <laughs> figure out what you're going to do and I'll I'll just sit here. What is that icon? Look, there's oh, something was happening. There was a new icon. Oh, this one right here. What does this say? Activity giver. Here we go. Ah, uh, milady. You're fortunate our good lady Stephanie of Talmberg has graced us with her presence. My lady, I'm honored. So this is our brave young man. Welcome, lad. <laughs> I'm pretty brave. Bojena here will take care of you. No doubt you're tired and hungry. <laughs> Indeed. How could he not be, poor soul? After <laughs> everything he's been through, he must be as hungry as a bear. Aren't you, young master? Yeah, I definitely didn't eat from your pot earlier, you, you senile old woman. Eat your fill. Thank you. And a little wine to wash it down. Sure, Thank don't you, check my pockets lady. for fish. <clears throat> when you're done, you can go and rest with the grooms in the outer valley. No, that won't do, Sir Robard. After all he's been through, he deserves a proper bed. Let him sleep in a lodge in the courtyard. Certainly, my lady. Dang! We know who now, makes Henry, the rules around here. Overwhelmed by your generosity. Oh, yes, yes. Thank you, my lady. May God reward you for your kindness. Eat up now. You're in capable hands, so I'll leave you to it. Good night. Good night. Good night, man. Don't be offended if I don't eat, because I'm going to get that whole hog pig freaking when debuff you've done, thing. You can sleep in the bedchamber of the courtyard lodge. And don't forget to take off those filthy boots before getting into bed. Rude. Okay, bye. At least it doesn't say go with Sir Robert to bed. That's what I was kind of... I've learned food. Eat. Go to the courtyard large, <laughs> lodge and sleep there until morning. Uh, it's not wise to ignore hunger. The longer Henry doesn't eat, the weaker he gets. If he fasts for long enough, he can die. Different foods have different properties. An apple won't fill you up like a roast duck, but it will stay fresh for longer. Some foods can be more effective for healing. All right. Well, oh, I am hungry again. This little roasted duck? I mean, are you saying, like, I could put all this in my pockets? Let's find out. You fled from... What are you doing? Uh, ma'am, you... I'm sorry, but uh, it just said you left it next to the soup and I got confused. Just gonna eat some of this then. Okay, uh... That didn't happen. <laughs> Go... Hey! That's awkward. We were inside of each other. How rude. What? I didn't even do anything. So y'all saying I can't pick up this food on the table or I can pick up a I'm I'm super confused right now. Just gonna go ahead and eat though. I have mash. Nourishment is 49. Give me one of them roasted duck legs. Oh. Oh, that's good stuff. Not hungry anymore. I'm I'm super confused now if I can take this stuff or not. <laughs> Can I pick this stuff up or not? All right, I'm going to try again. Bread roll. Are y'all mad? I'm going to say no. Let me just snatch another one. Bread roll. <coughs> okay. Bread roll. Cool, cool, cool. I feel like I can just take whatever I want now. I'll take that. And these. <laughs> Never know when you might need some food. Make sure to take this cheese. Nothing goes good in your pocket like cheese. Y'all can keep that healthy apple stuff. I want the cheese and the roasted duck. Okay, see y'all later. Going to bed now with my cheese in my pocket. Okay, now, if you are tired, your stamina and eloquence will also greatly, oh, gradually decrease. 
Sleep is the solution. Find an available available bed, which you'll recognize from the icon on the compass. Sit on it, launch sleep, and set how long you want to sleep for. I do not know. It said sleep till morning. Maybe it'll tell me what time it is. Ah, oh, I forgot to take my dirty boots off. Let's see. How long do you want to sleep? One hour. Okay, so it's like, what's that? Seven o'clock? Oh, and it tells you, I guess, the effects on your nourishment or whatnot. So it said to sleep till morning. I'm assuming it wants me to go to five. So let's go ahead and hit, uh, what's that, W for plus an hour? I guess I'm going to sleep 10 hours. And it does, yeah, so it does affect, like, the nourishment numbers. Energy numbers go up. So this is the break of dawn right here. 10 hours of sleep. Let's do it. Today the patrols will be doubled. Keep your eyes peeled. If you see anything out of the ordinary, report it immediately. Understood? Yes, yes sir. sir. Doesn't look like I'm sleeping. Yes? Bet it's that chick from the kitchen. Oh, what'd I tell you? Forgive the intrusion. No, oh, come on in. I didn't <laughs> wake you, boy. Did I? Yeah, yeah. You know, it's all good. My lady... Uh, um, no, no, not at all. But what brings you here at this hour? I thought you could do with a little wine. It's just what you need to help you sleep. Ah, uh, um, yeah, I was sleeping, but that's cool. Thank you. You really shouldn't. You could have sent a sermon. I was going to. But to tell you the truth, I couldn't sleep either. I thought of you while saying my prayers. How awful it must have been for you. I came to offer you solace, to let you know you're not alone. Thank you. Thank you kindly. You're welcome. Now, Henry. Oh, shoot. I know this is all very new and strange for you. But I want you to feel at home here. You're not to worry about anything except getting better. God knows you've been through a terrible ordeal. Yeah, it's kind of tough. I need you to hold me. I know what it is to be left alone in the world. Although your loss is much greater. But with God's help, the pain will ease in time. And it can help to talk about it. If you feel like it. They're going to give me the choice. Put put a little, little mackage on this chick. Watch this. So smooth. Watch this. Just give me the option. Oh, I don't know. Do I play hard to get? Oh, I just can't talk about it. I don't know. No. I'm going to trust in you. You must. I've known you for three minutes and you're my soulmate. You might be right, my lady. I'll tell you what happened. It was terrible and unexpected. The day started just like any other. Father sent me into town on some errands. Okay, so what is this? Oh, this is like, um, kind of shows our meter. I don't know. One is love. One is, I don't even know. I went to the tavern. No! To ale for father. Crap, I ran I out of time. I for a groom, but I didn't mind, because my girl Bianca worked there. I courted her a while, and we agreed to meet in the evening, but our meeting was never to happen. I would definitely not have told her about Bianca. When I'd done all the errands, I headed back home. I promised father I'd help him with his work, and I was looking forward to it. He was forging a sword for Sir Radzik. Me and father talked about life. Uh, he came to look at the sword. I've been, uh. The sword was taking shape when Sir Radzik himself came to have a look at it. He praised Father's work and said that with his smithing skills, he could easily make a living in Prague or Vienna. You don't say. Mm. Uh, but Sigismund's uh. horde was already on the horizon, ready to attack the town. It's all smoke in the horizon. Chitty chat, there was a huge horde of attackers. Um, um, this. A horde of soldiers was amassed. Pennants flapped in the wind. The armor glinted in the sunlight and the horses whinnied impatiently. They were waiting for Sigismund to give the command to attack. How awful. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I told you I was smooth. Descended on scallops. 
for the gun. I saw them kill my girl. They killed my father and my mother. Yeah. Father told me to take Put shelter moves on castle you. while he went to get mother. She was stranded in the town, surrounded by Sigismund. Did butchers. Bianca die? And then I saw him knocking down one human after another. I never saw him fight like that. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. But then the leader of Sigismund's raiding party, a knight in full armour, saw father and charged at him. <laughs> Chad, and a down my father slight stroke. Thought. And then he turned on my mother. And he murdered her in cold blood. You poor boy. May the Lord have mercy on their souls. I ran to the castle like our neighbours to take cover, but I didn't make it. I had to find another way to save myself. The men on the battlements called down to me to flee to Talmberg and warn you. I was lucky I knew a concealed path around the castle. Yeah, I also took an arrow under the leg. It was it was weird. Uh, uh, the siege is... Uh, 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 I needed a horse. I needed a horse to get to the safety of Talmberg and to warn you all. And with all that was happening, you <laughs> thought of others like a good Christian. Yeah, yeah, I did. I wasn't I running for my life or anything. It was Teresa, the mill wench. She'd been caught by a gang of cumin savages who planned to violate her. Oh. I had Seratic's sword, and even though there were several of them and they were better armed, I had to try and save her. Yeah, yeah. I wanted that went there to well. be at least one person I'd helped. And I succeeded, even though it almost cost me my life. After that, I stole a horse from them and rode off. <laughs> Very vague, but true. Valiant knight. I'll never forget the horror. It will haunt me for the rest of my life. That's terrible. How could something like that happen? God no. alone knows why he lets such things happen. Oh, you poor boy. I understand your grief, but God is not to blame for the ills of this world. That is the work of Satan and those who do his bidding. Those who are corrupted by greed, envy, and pride. You must not lose faith, whatever life brings. Fate okay. has not been merciful to me and my husband either. Ah, you got a husband. Although in comparison to the horrors you went through. Well, I feel weird now. I was young when I married my husband. It was my father's wish. Divish was a lot older than I, but a woman must bear her lot. Oh. Oh, did Shortly you after our marriage, before I even got a look at Talmberg, the castle was stormed and my husband was imprisoned. Really? My husband had some quarrel with Sir Havel Medek of Valdek, who decided to resolve it by force. He stormed the castle, burned down the village of Probislavitz, and killed many of our men, even the old Chamberlain. He imprisoned my husband in the castle and put his own garrison there. That's awful. I was barely 18 years old, and all of a sudden, I was left alone with Sir Robert. We didn't know what to do. We went to Prague to appeal to the king and sought help from Divish's friends, but all to no avail. We tried for years, but it seemed I was destined to be left alone and my husband to rot in jail in his own castle. Years, you say? Seven years. That's how long it took before Havel was condemned as an enemy of the crown. And even then, he refused to surrender the castle and release my husband. In the end, I raised the money to pay a ransom, and only then, by the grace of Lord Jesus, did I finally lay eyes on my husband once more. Seven years? And was Harvel punished for it? Never. Hmm. And after seven years, my husband returned to me an infirm old man. I mean, so seems like a good seven years isn't that long. Well, certainly, all of a sudden, old. only he has many concerns. He had to rebuild Talmberg. After he was released, the king appointed him Burgrave of Prague Castle, and he was very busy. He had no time for me at all. But at least we were in the city, and there was something going on. And now, we're here. 
My lady, you're still young and beautiful. Your best years are still ahead of you. Uh, Mac on, look, look. What that that were true, lad. Oh, it's true. It true. Oh, it's true. But what am I doing bothering you with this? You have troubles enough of your own. I'll go and let you sleep. Do you have to take the bread? Like, I didn't get to eat any. Cool. See I enjoyed see our little talk, Henry. Good night. And God bless. I like how you brought Good food night. and drink, and you're the only one who had any food and drink. Okay, see you later. Bye. Ooh. I feel like she wants me. Dirty boots and all right on the bed. You learned women in the Middle Ages. I learned them, huh? Oh, I'm dreaming. The nightmare. I'm recapping it all. Remember how I chopped those three guys down. Oh. Mommy! Oh. Oh, that's creepy. Don't be coming Oh. Nice supportive last words, Father. Thank you. Henry, wake up. You don't want to miss this. What is the What's happening? Come to the battlements. One of our patrols reported a company heading here from Scallets. Go to the battlements via the gateway stairs. Well, I do believe I can do that. Take a torch from the table. Oh, okay. Is this a torch or is this a candle? Is that like an English thing that I would say? Torch? Candle? Can I take that? <laughs> Can I have a torch candle? Okay. Won't be doing that then. Torch from the table. What if I just take one from here instead? Okay, probably on fire now. Um, Torch from the table. Am I about to like get, get in a battle? We about to get in a fight? Give me a sword, bro. Hey, I learned from the sheep down. master. Tell the people outside the walls to prepare for attack. Quickly, do you understand? Let's see what this dude has to say. Give me some armor, give me a weapon, bro. What's going on? I don't know. It doesn't make sense. Why would Sigismund advance on Talmurg in the night? Especially since he's lost the element of surprise after the raid on Scallets. Maybe it's not him. Then who is it? The scouts Jivish sent to Scallets to spy on Sigismund said he'd set up camp and was getting ready to storm the castle. And Sir Radzig is an experienced soldier. He'd surely hold the castle for quite some time. It doesn't make sense. Then it's what not him. Spicy? Not much of anything. Before they could get close enough, this huge storm started. And you were right. Sigismund has a hell of a lot of soldiers, including all manner of mercenaries. An army like that costs a fortune. Well, anyway, we'll find out when they get here, won't we? Aye, we will. Let your boy get a weapon. Halt! Who goes there? Lucifer and all his minions! Who else? Oh, what's that do? Sir Ansig. What a relief. Is his lordship there with you? Yes, sir. He is right here. What are you doing up so late, Divish? At your age, you need a good night's sleep. Well, Rantic, you didn't exactly pick the best time for an outing either. In a big hurry? It was a bit of a scramble, all right. Believe it or not, this tempest is a godsend for me and my men. As my old granddad used to say, better a sore throat than a slick throat. I'd say your grandfather was a wise man. Your messenger told us what happened. Messenger? The lad you sent to warn us. He's alive? He made it to you? He's here with me. He only got away by the skin of his teeth, though. Who? Who's story? Tell him about the, the dudes I killed. But tell me, friend. 
How on earth did you manage to get away? Thank God for this tempest. When it began, Sigismund's Tatars crawled into their holes and left a storm into the castle for more clement weather. We were able to sneak out right under their noses. The Lord be praised. We wouldn't have stood a chance against them. Would you like to spend the night in Tumber? No, no. When Sigismund finds the castle empty tomorrow, he might come looking for us. We'd only be exposing you to danger. Without me and my men, he has no call to attack you. Well, what will you do then? We'll march to Ratai. It's only a short way, and there we'll have a better chance of defense and enough room for all of these people. <laughs> Just freezing while you're talking. If Sigismund should come, better bend your knee, Divish. There's no point dying in a battle that's futile. You're right there. Is that boy still with you? I'm here, sir. You have courage, lad. That I can't deny. I am sorry about what happened. Would you care to join us? I'd like to, sir, but first I have to return to Skalitz. Are you mad? What do you want there? I can't leave my mother and father. I won't leave their corpses rotting in the street. I'll join you once I've taken care of them. Oh, Don't boy. even think of going back there, you donkey. Are you tired of living? But, sir! Quiet! I'm sorry about your father, but getting killed as well won't help him. Divish, make sure that lad doesn't budge from Talmberg until things quieten down. Not to worry, friend. Anyway, he's injured and needs to recover. I'll lock him up here as if he were Havel of Baldic. Oh. Hmm. I see you've grown a thick skin since your tribulation, sir. But thank you. We'll meet again when circumstances are more favorable. Farewell. Farewell, friend. And good fortune. Give my regards to Sir Hanish. I will. And good luck to you and your people, too. It's a dark times. Move out! You learned the Battle of Nicopolis. Men, All right, well. Tonight we'll have triple patrols. Sort out the watches between you and I'm going to talk to you again now. You might catch anyone boozing, playing dice or slacking off. <laughs> Sorry to interrupt your speech, but... Is there anything I can what do? What is it you need? I could use an extra pair of eyes, and yours are keen. Will you keep watch on the battlements with my men? Is that a request or an order? I'd rather it was a request you answered yes to. Of course I'll help. <laughs> I have to pay you back somehow after all you've done for me. Splendid. And don't worry. I'll tell the men to relieve you later. Cool. So... I'll just chill here then. What the <laughs> hell? Damn. Gonna keep, keep, keep watch on the battlements. I'm gonna take my sword out so people think I'm cool. Okay, no I won't because apparently they'll get mad at me. Dude, a torch would be really nice right now. Wandering around like a stray sheep must be your first watch, eh? I Maybe. don't think anything much will be happening today. You can just lean against the wall and wait till morning. I'll show you what's what. I will. Thank you. I will lean against the wall and wait till morning. Uh, if you have to wait for something, you can what? skip time, press T, and set how long you'd like to wait for. Watch out, though. Tiredness and hunger grow even during this skip time. All right, so, uh... It's like a comfy wall right here, if you ask me. Good God. How long am I supposed to skip to? I guess an hour? He said till morning, right? Yeah, yeah. Let's just, uh, let's do this. Two hours. I'm a little bit confused because at this point, didn't I wake up at 5 a.m.? So, like, have I been up for 24 hours at this point? Kind of what it's seeming like. Woo! Good job, guys. It was a nice watch. Y'all did a great job. I did a great job. We all did equally great jobs. Hey, watch it. Good lord, man. You walked into me. These days. 
Oh god, that sounds like a battle horn. Everyone to the battlement! Bring it, bros. Bring it, bros. Let's go! Let's go! Move it! I don't like the way this is looking. Give me a bow and arrow. I guess I'm gonna follow these guys. Woo! We all need Henry to kick's butt. Wait, who butt does Henry need to kick today? Please tell me there's not 8,000 guys out there. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh, I said same thing he did. Not if I can help it. I'm gonna run away so fast. See how the self-appointed king wins the love and respect of his loyal subjects. Indeed, Robard. Sigismund of Luxembourg has a rare talent for winning people over to his cause. We may be in for a surprise. I don't think he will set his heathen dogs on us today. Greetings, Lord of Tomberg. What's up? That's the bastard who let the attack of Scullis and killed my parents. Don't be an idiot. Do you want to end up like them? I am Sir Ooh. Mark Vart the von stash off. I come in the name of Sigismund of Luxembourg, King Both of Hungary sweet and sweet stashes. Who has resolved to strike against those who disrupt Concord in the land and to restore order in the name of his brother, King Wenceslaus IV. Restore order by burning and pillaging the king's estates. Greetings, Sir Markvard. The efforts of the king's brother to bring order to this chaotic land are undoubtedly noble. It seems to me, though, that he and his army have somewhat strayed. As Burgrave of Prague Castle, I am entirely beholden to the king, and here in Talmberg, divine peace reigned until your arrival. To what then do we owe the honor of your visit? Yesterday, his majesty took action against the enemy of the kingdom, Sir Ratzik Kobila, who has been using the silver from the Scarlet's mine to fund insurrection against the crown. Oh. Unfortunately, the insurgent escaped. Would you happen to know, noble sir, where he might be at this time? As far as I know, the Sir Radzik of which you speak is the king's hetman at Scarlet's. I find it hard to imagine that he would rebel against our king. Nevertheless, I can assure you that Sir Radzik is not at Talberg. He would be a fool indeed to flee from one castle where he has little chance of defense to another where he has even less. Or do you take the view that my humble manner is any obstacle to your army? Look at smart, bro. I Just might lose to the the king then that Zeratsi Kobila is not a Tarnberg and that he has your loyalty. Sir Radzig Kobila is not here, and I have no intentions of getting embroiled in affairs from which I have nothing to gain. Very well, sir. As you wish. Oh, dude, he didn't I will like that. your words to the king in the hope he will be as well disposed as you seem to be. Those who have clean consciences and goodwill may find themselves well disposed even at moments like this, when there is little cause for joy. Farewell, sir. Auf Wiedersehen. Hope he bought it. I feel like they're ready for war. Dude, look how far back that army goes. See the mustache in my dreams. Don't raise that sword, bro. Okay, cool. See you guys later. They they narrowly dodged death. I was about to go ham on them all. My lord, you have my utmost admiration. 
get on with you, Robard. Dude, don't see me. Don't see me. <gasps> Woo! See, so, yeah, they all wander. Well, they tucked into the forest quick. Bury your loved. Okay, I gotta see what that said real quick. Quests. Quest log. Um. Bury your loved ones in scallops. Oh no! So I for real's got to go back there. Talk to Sir Rub, dude, Robert, <laughs> and then optional get a horse. I thought I already had a horse. So, Gallets. I mean, I thought that was it right there. I guess maybe this is all going to be part of the same thing. Bury your loved ones in Scallets. Talk to Sir Roward, and then optional get a horse. How can I even, huh? Well, that's going to have to wait for a different episode anyways, guys. I know that this has been a long, so there's been a lot of cutscenes up to this point. Uh, I know that we're eventually going to get through this introduction storyline and it's going to be a whole lot more open world, do what we want, but it's just trying to give us a feel for the backstory and exactly what's going on. So like I said, I'm going to try and post these a little more often during the week so that we can get through it. There's quite a bit, I think, of gameplay for this, so there should be plenty of material. Let me know if you guys are enjoying it by hitting that thumbs up button and leaving me a comment and then uh, we'll just kind of keep on trucking and see if we can't get to Scallops bury our loved ones. I don't know if that's something I'm supposed to do optionally. Or if I just continue the main quest line, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and until we meet again. Excuse me, sir. I don't really want to punch you. Hey, yeah.